looking for a group online is a lot harder than you think. Let me describe the situation. A few weeks ago, I was looking for a new group to play with, since most of my real life friends are too busy. And I've had campaigns falling apart way too many times. Our play styles are also too different, since I like to play serious, slow burn, role play based campaigns focused on characters and plot. I decided to look in r slash looking for group and put out some player applications because I was getting really desperate to play. I mostly got rejections, which is fine, but I saw one post advertising a group that had multiple sessions running a week. I checked the person's post history and I found that all their posts were in that specific subreddit. I sent a message saying I was interested in applying and got back one saying that they needed my Discord. The person I spoke to friended me and then before I could ask anything about the campaign, they directed me to join another server. They said it was nothing serious, just an application to see if I was the right fit for their group. I didn't mind doing an application, but some of their phrasing was a little strange, saying that they were weeding out the unintelligent and unmotivated players, and if you object to this, then you're not the right fit. I was just excited to find a serious group, so I went through the application process, which was all bot regulated. Just a standard application, I guess, asking about my character idea and playing style. They were really trying to weed out murder hobos, but the condescending attitude they had towards rogue players and chaotic neutral players in general was weird too. There was also a question about whether or not you would pay to play for an optimal gaming experience. I've never done it before, I'm a broke college student, but I chose the option that said I had nothing against it. I submitted my application and a few hours later I finally got a response saying that my application had been accepted amongst the 40 or so people and that the going rate was $15 a session for a campaign that was advertised to span 6 months, which would total up to almost $400. Again, I can't pay that much. When they said potential fees, I assumed that they meant a one-time entry sort of thing. I was willing to pay $100 at most. There was no trial run to see if you liked the group at first. I'm assuming you just pay for one session and then leave if you didn't like it. But that still seems shady to me. They also pressured me into giving a quick answer because they had a long waiting list, which made me panic. I almost gave in because I was so desperate to play, even though there were a lot of red flags and a lot of people I spoke with were very short with me. It's hard to tell over text, but there was a lot of urging me to send my PayPal so we could finish the transaction. I finally told him the price was too much and I was immediately booted without another word. I was really upset by the entire thing and wondered why they didn't just advertise that it cost money to play up front because that would have saved me a lot of time and the disappointment of realizing that I wouldn't get to play because it was behind a paywall. Not only that, but the people I spoke to weren't the nicest. At first I wondered if it was just shady on their part, but then I also found out that advertising pay to play is against the subreddit rules, so my guess is they were trying to be discreet about it and pressure people into making the decision after they gone through a long application process. The entire affair was just scummy and left a bad taste in my mouth. Sunk cost fallacy. This group is the worst. They are preying on those who want to play and make you put in so much work just to wear you down so that you feel like you should join. Maybe some people do it out of courtesy. I mean, we have seen many stories where players can be too nice for their own good in uncomfortable situations, keeping silent or staying for longer than they should. 
just remember that you always have the right to say no and be careful on r slash looking for group. What do you all think about this situation? <laughs>